So I was speaking to my cousin the other day about one of the previous trips we went on. On the trip we went to Kenya. Uh, in particular in Kenya, we went to a place called Masai Mara, which is a really, really nice nature reserve. If you've never been there before, picture a beautiful, large landscape. There's trees as high as Harimedra Center. Green grass swamps bigger than the car park. <laughs> It's a lovely place for over 2 million animals, full of zebras, 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 um, of animals, so, uh, giraffes, elephants, lions, all sorts of animals out there. Lovely place. So on this trip, um, me and my cousin, we went on a hot day for you would think, as a 14-year-old boy, I would enjoy this standing up in the air, looking down at all the beautiful nature and animals going about their business. But for some reason, I wasn't fascinated by any of the animals. What I was fascinated about was the amount of profit that these hot air balloon companies were earning. The entire time through my trip, through my experience, I was trying to figure out how much this hot air balloon cost to run and put up in the air. I was trying to figure out how much the balloon cost to buy, the cost of fuel. I even asked one of the, the pilots, if you can call them that, how much uh, they were earning, which, by the way, never ask a pilot how much they earn. Probably not the answer. <laughs> and, uh, um, it's probably not a good, not very polite. Um, so back to the conversation I was having with my cousin. She asked me this weird, but strangely related question. She asked me, are you an economist? Or are you an accountant? <coughs> it's really weird, but let me explain. So you can divide up my family. We mostly work in the finance industry into accountants or economists. E's or A's. A's tend to spend, A's is how she defines it, as, um, as people who tend, to, these are like the kind of people that, the kind of friends that you have that never want to go out because it's too expensive. You want to invest their money in something and hope for a promising future. Um, whereas E's, economists, are the kinds of people that work backwards. They say there are people who, who pursue a certain lifestyle, buying nice things, nice cars, nice houses, and then work backwards and figure out what they need to do to maintain that, those standards. Um, and I thought to myself, me or me, where do I fall in this family? And I came to the conclusion I'm neither. I'm a physicist. Let me explain. <laughs> I, when I was up in that hot air balloon, I didn't analyze that hot air balloon to open up my own air balloon business or to invest in the hot air balloon markets. I, I tried to analyze that business simply because I was curious, naturally curious as to what were the forces, the economic forces, that were keeping that balloon up in the air. Um, so now, me and my cousin, we talked her a bit more, and then she asked me this one question. Oh, I hate this question. I've been asked it so many times that I have to answer it. She asked me, now that you've graduated from physics, spent the last four years learning physics, gaining skills and qualifications, now what do you want to do with your life? Oh, terrible question, but... Um, you know, I don't know. I hope I can be honest with her. Genuinely have no idea what I'll be doing five, ten years from now, work-wise, job-wise, whatever you want to call it. But I do know this. I'm a naturally curious person, and I find I tend to be happiest when I'm peaceful. And I see myself in the future trying to develop some sort of advanced skill set in order to help be useful, productive, not only for me, but for my family, greater communities, and like you guys here. Um, and I sometimes also think about like what my impacts are on a, on a grander scale, and a sort of larger than life type thing. But that's for another conversation. So now, may I offer a, what's it called, call to action. While all of you lots going about your daily lives, I hope you can maintain a certain level of curiosity. Just let that cross curiosity drive you to develop new skills and tools to help you and I 
go about our business. Thank you. One minute and the clock, please. Can we write our love notes to a mom? And this love note should be 